to recognize this. In Jeremiah 13 and verse 30, it says, Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spot? Neither can you do good who are accustomed to doing evil. You need the strength and power of the Holy Spirit to make these changes. You've got to understand that, friends. That is what the sermon this morning was about. Trying to let you, the mind of Christ has to be your mind for this battle. And so you can't just go around ignoring what you eat, when you eat, the amount of you eat. Your, your very salvation might be dependent on it. I'm not saying that there's anything called righteousness by legitimacy. There's no such thing as righteousness by lentis. Okay? It is by faith and by faith only. But as the sermon showed today, many of us will look like a virgin, act like a virgin, believe that a virgin, play the game well, and hear that message, I do not know. Alan Dushman, in his study, in his book, Change or Die, says only one in 10 can change. Harvard studied the same thing. So let's go through some of the psychology of change. One, you have to form, you have to have a reason why you want to change. A strong reason. Huh? 30 minutes. 30 minutes, let's start, guys. One more time. <laughs>